Hey everybody, so you may have seen my video earlier about me partially expelling the Paragard Copper IUD. So it was, uh, the first day was crampy, not super painful. I wasn't doubled over in pain. By day three, the spotting and bleeding had already stopped. By day four, I was having sex again and I felt fine. Wasn't bleeding, wasn't in pain, no issues. And then on week three, about two days ago, Saturday, I was checking the strings and I noticed that there was something hard sticking al along with the strings and it was the stem of the IUD sticking out, um, just the tip of it, not the entire thing, but it was definitely not supposed to be in the cervix canal. It was supposed to be in the uterus area and it wasn't. So Sunday I checked it again and it was out even further so it was pretty clear that it was coming out of my body my body had it already expelled um, far enough that I could almost reach in and pull it out myself I made an appointment today today is Monday they were able to get me in the same day I called she opened me up and said yeah it's sticking out so she took some kind of tool just pulled it out it was very very quick almost painless maybe because it had been in my cervix for a little while um, it was my first day of menstruating, so perhaps my cervix being a little wider than it normally is opened up a door for it to come out. It said in the pamphlet that you're most likely to expel it during your menstrual period. Apparently, I'm one of the 5 to 8 percent, according to my doctor, that expels the IUD. Uh, she said I could have the same one inserted. They cannot do it the same day because they didn't have any in stock. Apparently, the Paragard is one that's used less often, so they had to order it special. Next week, I'm going in. I'm going to have a new one put in. I decided I'm going to try it again. She said the risk of expelling it a second time was no higher than it was the first time. I asked her if there was less of a risk if I got the hormonal version. She said, no, the risk for you would be the same. And I had my heart set on the Paragard for a few years now, so I decided to try again. Um, because things were going very well for me. I was not having the pain that I had heard other people have. The bleeding only lasted a couple days. I dealt with the cramps very, very well, and they had done the procedure so quickly. I didn't mind having it done again. I just didn't want to do it if it was, you know, going to make a hole inside me if the fact that I expelled it meant that I couldn't handle the copper, that it was toxic or that I was poisoned. I didn't know what to think. There's so much stuff online. There was information on how to pull it out yourself, but I was terrified to do that, so I didn't. So I went in. She pulled it out with a tool. Um, I am still menstruating. The period is a little bit heavier than what I normally have, but the cramps are almost non-existent. I don't know if that's from the IUD or something completely different. I have no clue, but... The removal process was fine. I mean, if you're expelling it, go ahead and just have it removed. Uh, they said they can't push them back in once they're expelled or partially expelled because the arms are going to be bent out of shape. And once they've been in that position for a while, they're not going to go back to the way they were before. And the way it comes out, the arms are bent up in a sort of V shape. So all it would do is slide back out again if they tried to push it back up. It wouldn't go back to the T shape that it originally was, which makes sense to me. So that's my update. We'll see how it goes next week when I try again. I was really hoping to be one of the more positive stories out there. I guess I'm not, but we'll see what happens. Maybe the second one will be the charm instead of the third one. I hope there's not a third one. <laughs> Bye.